a novel that was completely sold out before its release in 2007. A novel which created a stir in Indian literary market because it sold five, it sold ten reprints within five months of its release. A novel which was originally written in Kannada, later translated to English and other Indian languages. Well, won't you be interested to know what was there in this particular book, Avarna the Veil by S. L. Bhairappa, which made this novel so very popular in the Indian literary field? To know that, you have to watch my this particular video till the very end. As I said, I will do a book review or a book talk on the novel Avarna. But before beginning my video, let me ask you once again the same question. Have you subscribed my channel Book Tales by Preetha? If you haven't subscribed yet, then please press the subscribe button so that you get notification whenever I, I post a new video. Also, if you want to know more about Book Tales by Preetha, then you need to follow Book Tales by Preetha on Instagram by the name Book Tales by Preetha. Book Tales by Preetha is there on Facebook. There is a Facebook page and a Facebook group. I want all of you to be a member of my Facebook group where I, along with you all, discuss about books, about book recommendation and all the things that is going on in the literary field. Also, you can follow me on Twitter. My Twitter handle is at the rate Preetha Sharkar 80. And to follow my blogs, that is Preetha's Notebook at WordPress.com, I have a complete written review on Avarna the way. So definitely you need to read my blogs as well. And all the books that I mention in my videos, in the description section, I put the link of all the books so that if you are interested to buy any of the books mentioned in my video, then do press the link given in the description section because if you buy books from the link given in the description section, then I get a very small percentage as my commission from Amazon affiliate link. Now let's begin today's video. Have you ever come across a book or read a book where every incident mentioned has been given a proper citation or a reference? Have you ever read a book which challenges history, to be more precise, the mobile history that we read in school textbook? If not, then that is being done in this particular book, Avarna the Veil by S. N. Bhairava. Avarna is the story of a free-spirited South Indian girl, Lakshmi, who marries her love interest, Amir whom she met at Pune FDI and later converts into Islam and takes the name as Razia. After 28 years of marriage, when Amir and Lakshmi or Razia, both of them veterans in the Kannada film and theatre fraternity, they, their life takes diverse path. Now, what happens to them that forces them to stay apart and the next five years of their life has been mentioned in intrinsic details in this particular novel, Avarna the Veil. My personal observation, a very well-written tale, a story within a story. The incidents that have been cited in this particular novel, as I have already mentioned that it challenges Mughal history, which we have studied in school textbook. It talks about the Mughal rulers imposing heavy tax on Hindus, on the demolitions done by the Mughal kings on the Hindu temples. This is a very controversial subject even to till, even to till this state. It takes great courage for the author to write or select such a subject which can create so much controversy and it had been created uh, which I get to know not only from the googling but also I feel that the character of Lakshmi or Razia to some extent in the end part of the novel has been very much influenced by the real life of the author S. L. Bhairappa. 
the character of Amir and Nazir, Razia's husband and Razia's son. I think they are victims of circumstances. Their thought process have been highly influenced by the situation or the surroundings in which they were born and were brought up. This proves that even if, if you are highly qualified, experienced, doing big job, that in many cases do not change your way of thinking. The character of Professor Shastri, another important character in this particular novel, the only one word that comes to my mind when I read through the entire novel was, his character was a male hypocritic person. That is the only thing that comes to my mind. I will not go in details about this character that you have to read the novel to find out why I am saying so. And I am sure if you read this particular novel, you will get a clear picture of the characters and why I am saying certain adjectives with those particular characters. The language of the book is extremely simple. There are two stories that is going on parallelly in this particular novel. If you ask my personal opinion, then obviously I was more influenced by the primary story. That is the story of Razia, Ahmed, Razia, Spado, Professor Shastri, etc. There was another subplot that was going parallelly, which is the tale of the Mughal kings. I found that that story could have been way much precise. It has led to unnecessarily dragging of the novel. So much detailing, if not done, I think may have been better. But this is again my personal opinion. Overall, this is a good book and it takes great initiative from the author as well as the publication team to choose a concept or a topic like this, which is so bold and so controversial even to this day and age. I recommend this book to all those people who like to read on Indian religious dogmatism, how it is prevalent, very much prevalent rather, in Indian cities, villages, till, till this very day. I would rate this book 3.65 stars out of 5 stars. And if you have already read this particular book, then do mention in the comment section how you like this particular book. And if you like my video, please hit the like button. And I will come and see you soon in my next video. Thank you for watching this video. And tata and bye bye.